Welcome to WTF Red, the only Ascredit channel that will blow your mind. Like and subscribe right now to support Pepe's career as an independent musician. R slash ask Reddit by Reddit and chill. Fetishist women of Reddit. What fetish is really? Really hard to find in men? Over a drunken drinking game. I found out one of the girls that lived above us in student accommodation had a thing for guys coming too quick and getting embarrassed. The issue was. Without fail. Every guy she had told about it will inevitably just try and come really quick which wasn't the same thing. I don't know why but I found the entire thing hilarious. Is this her? I read and saved this exchange from somewhere. I'm a woman. And I'm extremely turned on by premature ejaculation. Especially if the guy seems really embarrassed or apologetic. Well hello. I'm here at your service. After banging away for half an hour, I'm so embarrassed. This has never happened to me before. For guys to act all sexy and sultry. Gasping. Moaning. Biting their lip. Basically like the way they stereotypically expect women or twink gay guys to act during sex. Thank god. I thought I was the only one who liked that. I once had a guy who was so ducking pretty during sex. Sometimes I just stopped to look at his face. So pretty. I dated a girl years back who wondered why more straight men won't let her duck them in the ass with a strap on. I would put that up there. I would put that up there. Just not. You know. Up there. I like being called good girl. But not if it's a daddy thing. Just being called that can send me over the edge. Especially when it's whispered in my ear. My girl isn't to that and then one time I told her I was proud of her and she came immediately. IDK what mine is called. I just like getting people off. I don't even have to get off. But knowing that something I did. Made you so worked up that you had to come. I'll play into anyone's fetish. As long as they get off or get insane pleasure from it. This seems the nicest one here. I don't know if this truly counts as a fetish but I love when men are noisy. Loud and frequent moaning. Groaning. Gasping. I love the sound of them losing control. Essentially. And really enjoying themselves. But every guy I've had sex with barely makes any sound besides heavy breathing and it's so frustrating. For me. It's not so much the noise itself. But what the noise means. He's so into it and it feels so good that he cannot control his vocalizations or hands or whatever. As a female. I had to work on this too. And give myself permission to be vocal when it felt right. Not forcing it or holding it back. Please duck I moan in my ear I am tired of the stigma that women like quiet guys please moan. One day I was having phone sex with my GF. We were long distance and so couldn't have sex. And I thought in my head hey. If I moan. Maybe she would like that. So I tried that and she really liked it. I did it with my next GF and she loved it so much that just me moaning would turn her on. Even if we weren't having sex. Because of this I learned that girls like guys who moan so I try to make it a habit to moan. I love when men come inside of me without protection. This is. Obviously. An issue. Then you get the I feel like that's just a normal fetish. But not a fetish. Yeah no. Nature and stuff. Not with me it ain't. It's hard to find someone who is good at being an aggressive dom. But who isn't an a-hole. Seems like the only guys who can really give it to you rough and mean are rough and mean in other aspects too. It's not that it's hard to find, there is quite an abundance actually. But it's really hard to find one that isn't a jerk. Don't know if this is just me. But anything rough requires trust of communication if you care about your partner. So I suspect that if it isn't established. The only people willing to go rough from the start are likely jerks. I want a man to act like he kidnapped me and I'm his prisoner and he's like in between acting nice and acting like a psychopath. Rape fantasy or just I have become a horny slap all of a sudden and I will obey this man. I like risky sex in terms of pregnancy. I would never turn a fetish into a lifelong commitment. So I will personally take precautions. But the fantasy of I'm going to come in you and knock you up. And he's telling me so while he's about to come. When he thinks it's a genuine possibility is insanely hot to me. But no one I've ever been with has been able to be comfortable with it. Totally understand why. It gives me all the power while he loses it after he finishes. 
so I wouldn't push it on a soul. But it is the only thing that reliably gets me off. Many people are into impregnation fetishes. You just gotta take the right precaution. And have a low DS of trust. Cuming inside. Loud moaning. And talking. I love being talked to i.e. tell me I feel good. I'm pretty. Etc. And obviously I want to say those things too. Guys I've been with think that's weird. Not to mention I have a mommy fetish so not a lot of guys are really with that lol that I've encountered. And the premature cum thing. Oh yes. I don't tell guys that I like that. So they don't actively try to do it. So if it happens it's way more organic and they're actually overwhelmed and embarrassed. And being choked. Guys will do it but not as hard as I would like. They're always scared to hurt me. Edit. WTF I just came back and this has blown up what the heck. Talking. So, how was your day today? Me? I'm not really a big fan of parties and politics. Fornophilia from the top. Lots of guys want to be human furniture. But it's hard to find one who wants to use a woman as furniture. But you can pretty much extrapolate that to any fetish that doesn't involve actual ducking. Non-sub guys may be willing to play it a little BDSM before the ducking. But what they really want is to duck. And it shows. Hold up. So. Just as an example to make sure I grasp this. A guy could watch TV with a naked footstool. Then scoot you closer as a table to eat a bowl of mac and cheese. And you'd be down for that? I'll admit it I have a consensual non-consent fetish. And I guess it's hard to bring up and find guys who are willing to do that stuff. Lots of guys are into being dominant and rough which is usually what I'll settle for. But the only two I've brought up the rape fantasy thing with have been too uncomfortable with it and refused. One actually said I should get therapy for liking that stuff. And I'm afraid of specifically seeking out guys that are also into CNC because I feel like the fetish attracts some. Ducked up characters? Bad people? Not all of course but it's daunting. Imo the most important part of doing a scene like that is trust. And of course. Consent. Most people who are into rape play like it because it gives them an adrenaline rush and it allows them to carry out such fantasies in a safe and controlled environment. There will be places. Forms. Possibly even a subreddit where you can talk about rape play and meet other people who are into what you are into. Bad eggs are always present. In every type of kink there is. And if you're in the right place. Avoiding them should be relatively easy. I like being slapped in the face. Most guys don't want to hit girls. Which is good. But also lame. I dated a girl who liked that as well. It took a while for me to build up to slapping her hard enough where she liked it but I couldn't never really get over it. We could get a little rough during foreplay but if we were having sex slapping her would instantly make me go soft. For a long time I have had a serious fetish for having my feet pampered. Like having someone rub them. Paint my toes. Kiss my feet. Or let me give them a foot job. Honestly the foot job is usually a reward for pampering me. But I genuinely enjoy it too. But all too often I get guys who say it's just not their thing. I get it. Sure. But guys with foot fetishes seem so popular. I usually wear open toed shoes or go barefoot whenever I can just to see if I can catch someone looking. It seems like I'm surrounded by foot fetishists until I actually go on a date with a guy. Then suddenly no one cares. Comma. I love to pamper feet. It's a very overlooked sensual experience. I don't really have a fetish for it though. Just think my partner deserves that kind of TLC. I've struggled to find men who will let me do anything anal on them. Even oral wids most of them out colon. Edit. I should clarify anal oral and no. No poop. Dudes won't let you give them a ring job. That's their loss. I think it's called Kukwian. Really? Really wanna watch my husband duck another girl while I'm restrained doing the dirty work and they taunt me. He is not really into other women and most women aren't into being watched. I've pretty much successfully explored all my other fetishes. And few. There's a lot. Well. I haven't done a lot of roleplay with power disparities. Now that I think of it. I mean. Guys who like being submissive. Most of them won't admit it. I'm dominant and sadist towards man in sex. Most of them want to be dominant too. Also food fetish. 
definitely not common. Is there wiggle room on the sadist part? I'm a submissive guy just not safe word level submissive. I'm not interested in pain or BDSM stuff but it seems like most of the dom women I meet are. I just like it when the woman takes control of the bedroom rather than having to be the one running things. I, I thought being punched in the face would be hot. Until I got punched in the face. I like role reversal play. Or gentle femdom. I don't know how to title it. I like making the guy the object of desire during sex. And riding him and tying his hands up and telling him to lie still whilst I do the ducking. And then spoiling him with compliments about how beautiful and good he is. And about how he belongs to me and is entirely mine I'm a bit of a switch when it comes to this. Though. At the other hand. Whilst it's not a fetish men usually have. I really haven't met a single guy who wasn't totally into it after they got over the initial how well not that be embarrassing weird. I was gonna say. What about that wouldn't be great. I'm a dude and I'd find that great fun because I consider myself to be a light switch where I'm primarily dominant but wouldn't mind being the sub every so often. And that would be very enjoyable. I enjoy dominating men. But unfortunately every guy I ever dated liked to dominate as well. Most women I've been with prefer to be dominated. So I've learned to be dominant. But at heart I'm a total submissive. I absolutely melt over a powerful woman. A woman who speaks with conviction. Moves with purpose. And can level me with her eyes. I will do what she tells me. When she tells me to do it. How she tells me to do it. And only I'll only speak to thank her. I have been with exactly one woman like that in my lifetime. And I was very young. She was significantly older than me. 2. For most of my adult life I've been chasing that dragon. But I've yet to find a woman who can rise to the occasion. Most of the women I've been with are absolutely submissive. The women I've been with who claim to be dominant usually chicken out last minute due to inexperience or shyness. And pass the ball back to me. I think it's my stature. I'm about 6 feet 3 inches. 200 pounds. Dark hair. Dark beard. And I tend to wear a leather jacket. I do not give the appearance at all of a submissive man. A dominant man who isn't just an abusive a-hole using BDSM as an excuse. It's hard to find a guy who wants. Like. Rough sex where he is dominant. But where it's not like whips and chains level. Guys are either way too kinky for me or way too vanilla. I feel like I can never find an in-between. Edit. Not sure why so many people are trying to argue and tell me I'm wrong. I answered the question based on my own experience. The majority of men I've dated fall into two types. Type 1 kink level 100. They want to be master slash slave 24 stroke 7. They want to piss down your throat and watch you duck a dog. Type 2 kink level zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Having a partner I'm in love with means a lot more to me than some kinky sex. My imagination keep me plenty satisfied most of the time. He comes too quickly and gets embarrassed. We're in boys. Thanks for tuning in for this WTF Red episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the one and only Escredit channel that will blow your mind every time.